So, I have started the build and I will show you some things. So here is the tail of the helicopter. We have some photo edge here in the, I don't know what you call this little part, but they were really tricky to get on, so I hope they will look fine when it's finally painted. So that's the tail section. And then I have the main rotor assembly. It's ready to be painted. Uh, this kit is quite hard to build. It's not an easy kit. Uh, the first thing I started to build was this rotor assembly. And there were a lot of problems in the main parts. The two first parts I was supposed to just glue together. Uh, the, the mold was missing a lot of plastic inside here so it was really hard to get it centrated and aligned correctly but now it's there but I think I put three or four hours into this little piece of plastic that's just stupid uh, and the um, instructions are not that good but I will give it a score when it's done and then we have the main cockpit so we're building the chopper around this part so the instruments are there, we have shears, we have controls and this is the back of the helicopter. So I will start continue to build this model and you will see some more results later in this video. And I'm gonna do some painting as well. So the works continues. Uh, I would say that this model will not gain a high scale model score. There are tons of problems with this one. Uh, the details are nice, but there's a lot of things wrong with this model. Parts doesn't fit. You have to clean everything up because there are um, excess material on the sprues flush and parts don't have the connection points where they should so this is really really tough model to build and uh, the one who designed all the parts the cat guy uh, he did not do a great job so that's too bad because the chapter itself looks really nice here you can see I'm working with the interior, all the seats and all the seat belts that are photo etched. Uh, instructions for this build is also very bad. Um, yeah, I have a lot to say about this model, but I will continue. I have to because I just want to finish this one up. I don't think that it's so much left to do except for sanding and carving and gluing things together that doesn't fit. So that's what's happened when you buy a model kit from a company that doesn't do it too well actually. This is the worst piece of shit I have ever <laughs> tried to build. Ah, it's such a disaster because the alignment is totally out everywhere and you, you, there's no guidance to how it should be. So uh, this is a catastrophic failure. Well, what have I learned? I have learned that I ain't gonna buy any Kitty Hawk models from this from now on. This is just a piece of crap. The only thing I'm happy with is the figures. Uh, other from that, this is going to the bin. It's going to the bin. Because I'm really so fucking tired of this piece of shit 
And from now on, never any more Kitty Hawk. The instructions was terrible. The plastic is too soft, so my Tamiya glue is melting it. And the color scheme for the interior is absent. Uh, other from that, it was a good box art. It looks really nice. So, I guess for me, this feels better than try to complete it. So, here we have it the final version of the Kitty Hawk. Uh, I will give this uh, scale model uh, scale model score of course. The score will for this one will be none. This is the worst piece of shit, and the worst thing. Uh, and it's not an it's not a sheep model. I think it costs around fifty euro or something. And it all started out with this main uh, main blades. What do you call it? Ah. The first part I was trying to fix to this shaft had a big hole, so I couldn't centrate it. And this part took me three hours to build, and it took me two seconds to destroy. What do we have more to destroy? No, well, I guess that was all from this episode. So now it's time to start a new build and we will try to get some quality things. So let's bin it. Lesson learned. Don't buy crappy models. <laughs>